Hey everyone, Arsenal Alex is here. Happy Thursday. Well, it's not a happy Thursday. And this is exactly why I just do videos when I can. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Arteta ain't going nowhere. This club, this is why I'm just taking a back seat. This is exactly why I've stopped going. A new contract. Are they having a laugh? A new contract. I'll do the Daily Mail snail article. Why? Why? He hasn't won anything for four years. We haven't done what's required in the summer. We haven't got a big... He's, we've spent over 800 million quid with this guy and he gets a new deal. And I don't give a damn what people say. This is a sad, sad day. It's like he's the only person on this planet that can manage Arsenal. If he's been winning trophies, left, right and centre, cool. Yes, but he hasn't. It will be five years because you can't win a trophy this season till he physically can have won a trophy. But in my book, when you win stuff, you get a reward. But we haven't won anything. We didn't get what we're supposed to do in the summer and now he gets rewarded for it. Get rid of this pop-up. <clears throat> so Mikael Arteta secures huge Arsenal pay rise <clears throat> with new salary close to Pep Guardiola's after he agrees a new three-year contract just 12 months before his current deal expires. So I'm just going to skim read this. Um, he's agreed a new three-year contract extending his stay. Um, so he's, he's wow, who was previously on nine million a year, nine million a year for not winning anything. He's set to become Arsenal's highest paid manager in history. Let me stop you there. High, he's going to become the highest paid Arsenal manager in history. Think about that, deep that, chastise that. That is absolutely insane. Close to £20 million a year. And then, obviously, we, with the North London derby coming up, he, um, he won the FA Cup in 2019-20. We're in 2024. This is what really drives me insane. He oversaw a rebound as he developed and brought in several young talents. That's a lie. Saka, Smithrow, Martinelli. Saka was Unai Emery. Smithrow, Unai Emery. Gabriel Martinelli, Unai Emery. And getting rid of big players like Ozil and Aubameyang, who won him an FA Cup. That's gone well, hasn't it? This is why I've had enough of this club. This is not the club I grew up supporting. This is an absolute disgusting piece of news. I'm not going to read this because this is absolute rubbish. Apparently... Back in March, Arteta registered his 100th Premier League win as manager when he achieved in seven games fewer than Arsenal's iconic Arsene Wenger. I forgot about how many how many uh, trophies Arsene Wenger won in his first five years. Going up, right? Let me just get rid of this. Against the greatest, possibly the greatest manager of all time, in uh, Alex Ferguson. And now the pop-ups are spinning around. This is a shocking, shocking day. Arsene Wenger won a double within two years against Alex Ferguson, who had a better team, better score, better everything. This man 
will have won one FA Cup with Unai Emery's team in five years. It's a fact. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. The only reason he's signing a new deal because he's been PR'd to the absolute hill. OK? Absolute hill. He has been marketed so much that they can't get rid of him because when eventually he either goes or gets sacked, because that's two options, they won't be able to market the next person like they've marketed this manager. And I think they've timed it stupidly as well, if you are going to announce a deal, because the pressure now is on him to deliver this season. We cannot have another zero trophy season. He has to take the Cups seriously. He cannot bin any Cups. And now we have got registered the smallest squad of players in the league. I think at the moment we've got only 16 outfield players. And we've spent nearly a billion quid. Between 800 and 900 million. I'll give him that. What's happened to Fabio Vieira? I thought he was supposed to be Bernardo Silva. Smith Rowe leaves and oh, he starts doing well at Fulham. Wow. Gabriel Magalhaes injures all our new signings. What are you doing, Arteta, in training? Where's our backup to Odegaard? Because injuries happen. You are supposed to have a backup to each player with the amount of money we have spent. Where's the backup? A 17-year-old against Tottenham Hotspur, and he gets a new deal. Cheers, Arsenal. Smash the likes up and subscribe. Leave your comments in. I'm not even going to rant away because I've ranted so much about that. I don't didn't want him, don't want him, and I never will. How many? Ch he's like he's, he's like the cat with nine lives. He can do no wrong. He doesn't need to win anything. Winning does not matter. It's about how he looks and about the vibe and about the cool, amazing feelings, goosebumps when you hear that horrible anthem, which is about prostitution and drugs, North London forever. You can Google it if you don't believe me. That's what the back, all about that song is. Arteta, so if you're just tuning in, Arteta, new three-year deal, sign sealed and delivered for winning absolutely nothing. Winning is just not important anymore. So I ain't going to be going back to any games because it's going to be a long season. And, um, yeah, that's how I feel. I'm not going to scream, but just sad. Really, really sad. Because there's only, apparently no one else can manage Arsenal. Only Arteta uh, with uh, 8 billion people in the world. <laughs> it is mad and uh quite frankly i don't care if you agree or disagree because uh our 